What's up everyone? I'm Jesse Kazam and welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the VSS. The VSS was for a long time considered very viable as a late game or meta weapon, and it very much so still is. But in this video, we're going to be talking about why it can also be incredibly viable as a budget weapon that absolutely wrecks players um, from hatchlings all the way up to super geared players. Uh, I stream Escape from Tarkov a few days a week and all my links will be down below. I'd absolutely love to have you stop by, say hey, ask questions or just hang out. So we'll be there. But with all that stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. So right out of the gate, right at the beginning of this video, I want to put a disclaimer out there that, of course, this is not the cheapest gun to run. This isn't the absolute most budget gun to run in Escape from Tarkov. You can absolutely get away and have some really effective weapons that are cheaper than this to run. Um, it really kind of comes down to what your interpretation of budget is. Now, this isn't a 300,000 ruble weapon that I'm calling budget just because I can afford it or anything like that. When I consider the price to performance ratio and what this gun can accomplish um, and stack that against the price of other weapons that can accomplish similar things, I definitely consider this budget. Um, you know, this is a perfect weapon if you're an intermediate player and you're looking to uh, give yourself something that is going to basically be effective in any situation against any enemy that you come across without breaking the bank. Uh, I think this is perfect. Um, you know, uh, we'll get into the specifics a little bit later of, of why and how I back up that I think this is a great budget weapon. Um, but I just wanted to put that out there right at the very beginning. Of course, you can grab a Mosin with no armor and shove all the rounds in your alpha container. It's going to be cheaper. You're going to be able to one tap geared players and that's great. But I think this serves a different purpose. This sets you up for more situations uh, and is a lot of fun to run. Um, and kind of going back to what I said here in the intro, the VSS is so commonly associated with end game, you know, PVP meta weapons, and it is absolutely still equipped for that. But a few things have happened that I think really bring it down and push it into that budget category as well. Uh, one, you know, the, I don't know if it's just because they've added the VSS and the valves to Raiders and to the player scavs and stuff like that, but there seems to be more of them, which make them a uh, easier to come by just by playing the game, but B it makes them way cheaper. So if you look on the flea market, you can get a VSS for under 50,000, plenty of them for right at about that 50,000 rule mark. Uh, which is may seem like a lot. Yeah, you can get an AK-74N or M for maybe like 18,000 rubles. But look at the stats on this weapon without absolutely anything done to it. I just put a mag in. 44 vertical recoil. I'm pretty sure an absolutely meta kitted out full attachments AK-74N comes to around 46, 47, 48 vertical recoil. And that's with hundreds of thousands of rubles worth of attachments put on that gun. And this stock standard with nothing on it has 44 vertical recoil and 78 horizontal. These things are laser beams. And so when you factor that in for 50,000 rubles, getting a weapon that you can just immediately take out and have those types of stats is absolutely unreal. The second thing that happened is they buffed a few of the ammos that um, the VSS and the Val take that were previously not used pretty much at all. Um, and we're going to talk about why I think SP5 is the perfect budget weapon. Uh, but diving into like some of the prices, right? So the VSS itself is about 50,000 rubles. You can purchase these 20 round mags uh, from Propor at, I believe, level three for just over 6,000 rubles. And if you don't have Propor unlocked yet for 75 to 8,000 rubles, you can buy, you know, more of the 20 round mags. Um, the uh the ammo that goes into it so let's talk about that for a little bit so uh sp5 for a really long time was regarded i mean it is the lowest tier ammo that in the game right now that these guns take it is but with 35 pen and 68 um flesh damage and the fire rate of the vss which is another thing another huge thing that draws people to this weapon 900 rpm once again if we're comparing it against an ak i believe an ak-74n and an ak-74m have a rate of fire uh, of 650 so a significantly higher rate of fire and 35 uh, penetration value 
SP5 can shred armor. So if you haven't downloaded the Battle Buddy yet on iOS or Android, I highly recommend it. One of the really cool things you can do is set up simulations basically where I can say I want to pit SP5 up against, you know, a specific armor like a Gen 4 or a Zook. So a Zook class 6 armor, uh, I believe it's made out of ceramic, which is why it takes a little bit fewer shots. But it's the most common class 6 armor because the um, 6B43s have such ergonomic penalties. SP5 will not penetrate it on its first few rounds, but it will take it from full durability to basically zero durability in five shots. Now you do the same thing against a Gen 4, which is probably considered, you know, the meta um, armor. It's class 5. It's got a lot of durability. They're cheaper than class 6 armors. Seven shots from this against a full Gen 4 will take it down to zero. Seven shots at 900 rounds per minute is so easy to accomplish if you can put some shots on target. Now, it is fair to say the downfall of that 900 rounds per minute is the fact that you're rocking 20 round mags. Um, and if you're missing your shots, it's really easy to dump all your rounds and have to reload. Uh, they do make 30 rounders for this, but I think they're around 12,000 rubles or no, uh, maybe 30,000 rubles per magazine. Yeah, around 30,000 rubles per magazine. Uh, so definitely not considered budget. But so that, you know, that's definitely a downfall. But SP5 is an absolute shredder. I was uh, doing with a buddy. We were both rocking VSSs. We were both rocking SP5. We were going to Shoreline and we were absolutely wrecking <laughs> geared players. Uh, if you um, can get shots on them, you are going to zero that armor super fast. If you can get shots on that face shield, it doesn't even matter. You know, the fast MT face shield, this is just going to shred right through it. So like we said, no attachments, 20 rounders and SP5. This thing is a laser beam. The other insane benefit to SP5, insane benefit is it is only um, from, so you can get these for really cheap, 99 rubles per bullet. Um, but even from Purpore, buying them from the trader, they're 142 rubles per bullet. And this is the most insane thing. You can buy as many as you want, as many as you want. So SP6 is kind of con was considered like the best, like balanced round. You know, you can get rounds like BP that absolutely shred, but they're like 12, 13, 1400 rubles around. SP6 used to be considered like the lowest tier of what somebody would want to run. These are 600 rubles around and you can only buy 200. So even 600 rubles definitely isn't the worst in the game right now, but you can only buy 200. Now you're having to buy them off the flea market. But SP5 is 140 rubles around from Purpore, even cheaper on the flea market sometimes. And you can buy an unlimited amount, which is absolutely insane for the viability of this weapon. So, you know, ammo is talked about a lot in Escape from Tarkov. When you think about something like an M4, if you're rocking M995, you know, if you always want to use the meta ammo, if you're one of those guys, you know, taking 360s and a stack of extra in your gamma or your alpha or whatever it is, at 1,400, 1,500 rubles around, that's over 350,000 rubles just in ammunition per raid. You're having to buy them off the flea market because you can only buy so much from Peacekeeper. He's sold out all the time. And think about that's just the ammo. That's not the weapon. If you die, that's not the other gear that you're trying to protect that weapon with. It's so hard to be profitable when you're spending that much on ammo. So, uh, you know, I, oh, somebody in the chat was talking to me about SP5. I've been running it for a few days and I really can't speak to once again, the price to performance ratio. Yes, of course, sometimes you're going to die because you didn't have better ammo. And if you had the best ammo, I landed two shots on the guy. And if I had the best ammo, that would have killed him. But I didn't have the best ammo, so I died. That's going to happen once in 10, 15, 20 times. But the amount of money that you are going to save and how easy it is to be profitable in your raids when you're only spending 142 rubles per bullet is definitely going to make you money in the long run. So uh, another cool thing about the VSS is it's got the dovetail mount. So sites like the OKP7, OK which I really like this optic. Uh, there's two versions. One it has the dovetail mount. You can just throw that right on. You don't need an adapter and you're good to go. Uh, this optic can be purchased from uh, Skier, and it is 18,000 rubles. So, you know, it's not 
incredibly cheap but the cool thing about these is that you can find them on scav weapons a lot uh a few different scavs can spawn with uh these on them the uh, saiga shotgun scavs a lot of times will have these on them or players use them you can just save these if you don't want to purchase them or something like that also the uh pso four times scope is also a dovetail scope you can throw that right on without having any adapters or anything you can use the iron sights i actually these are relatively effective iron sights i'm not great with iron sights but i've used them before and they're pretty good um if you want to attach your own optic like a pko6 or something you can use the p lad mount uh which is only about three thousand rubles or five thousand rubles from uh jaeger uh, and you can then attach anything you want on there. What I don't like about this is how high it sits off the gun. Um, it's cheap, but it, it takes up a little bit too much of my field of view when I'm actually playing the game. But they recently added the SVD low profile mount. Now this does the same thing. It's a little bit more expensive at 8,000 rubles, but it sits so so much lower on the gun it's so much easier to use and then any optic that you've got you can throw on there so once again you can factor in the price of the optic when you're you know doing your budget run if you want um, but you know a, a lot of times what I do is I'll just throw a bunch of optics that I pick off of guns into a case or something and save them for when I know I want to use them uh, but if you didn't want to use a pk06 or something that's about 15,000 rubles on the flea market um, but you can do that now you can put uh four grips and flashlights on this weapon as well uh the b3 mount which is uh just under 3,000 rubles from skier you can throw this on now the only thing this is going to allow you to do is put like a flashlight or a laser on it but if you like those in your gameplay style you can absolutely do that additionally though the uh taws mount um the taws 6p 29m mount you can purchase from jaeger it's you know 7,000 rubles it is a little bit more expensive on the flea market if you don't have that unlocked or if they're sold out but you can get these pretty easy and what this allows you to do is put uh, a flashlight and a flashlight and a laser if you wanted to and a foregrip on it as well now the rk2 is kind of the meta foregrip you definitely can run cheaper ones any of the ones that you're comfortable with but it's pretty crazy you can get this down even further to 39 vertical recoil which is absolutely insane I'm more partial to foregrips on the VSS that increase ergo uh, just because it already has so little recoil that um, I'd rather take the ergonomic benefit there. But so I did a little bit of math um, for what I would consider like a super budget run with this weapon. Uh, you know, if you went out and you purchased the gun itself um, and you put, you know, maybe an OKP OK seven on it. You had four mags that were filled with SP five, um, and a little bit of, uh, so, you know, you've got one in the gun and three and a little bit of extra SP five. That's going to cost you around 112,000 rubles. Now, like we said at the beginning of this video, 112,000 rubles is still 112,000 rubles. It's not by any means the cheapest thing that you can go with, especially because you're just, uh, we're just talking about the gun, the mags, and the ammo. Like we said, you can grab a Mosin or you can grab a super cheap AK and just slap some ammo in there and you'll be fine. But I don't think any weapon in this game for 112,000 rubles, when you're including ammo, extra ammo, and the mags, can shred armor like this can. Uh, like we said, this is the most balanced if you're i don't have no problem mag dumping on a hatchling if he's running away from me or somebody who's got really low gear because i know i'm not shooting 100 and, you know or i'm not shooting uh 1500 rubles per round out of my weapon like sometimes if i have a meta ak or m4 and i've got the best ammo i almost feel bad killing lower tier players or scavs even because i'm wasting so it costs me money to kill them but with something like this i have absolutely no problem just mag dumping people because i'm only spending 140 rubles around but at the same time if a super geared player comes around the corner and i'm aiming for center of mass or their head i am confident that by the end of this 20 round mag i'm gonna drop them now we can even take this into the hideout with you know just stock standard like we said you just put the optic on no foregrip the 43 vertical recoil uh, and we can kind of see how this performs uh, let's make sure we're on full auto and boom so like we said you definitely still have a little bit of that vertical kick just like all weapons do um but you can absolutely just shred people uh and it's really easy to control even at longer distances you know all the way out there we're still keeping all our shots on target 
just trying to control it a little bit and boom. Now, like we said, it's got that vertical pull and it's pretty easy, like we said, to completely mag dump and, you know, then have to get into a situation where you're panic reloading. Uh, know that that is probably the only downfall of this setup is that the 20 round mags make it a little bit harder. You can totally flip it to semi-auto and try and, you know, get some headshots on some scavs or something like that. Um, but, you know, my advice would be get pretty close, get to a position where you know that you can dump all these rounds on target if need be. Um, but that's really it. That's that's kind of my pitch for the VSS as a budget weapon. Uh, like I said, I, I totally understand that there are more economic weapons to run um, and uh, effective weapons. Uh, but I hope that you learned a little bit of something. I hope that you maybe try this out. Um, 112,000 rubles in the scheme of things is pretty cheap when you factor in attachments, ammo, magazines, the price of the weapon. Um, I have been having an absolute blast running this and the profitability potential is huge um, because like I said, you're not worried about wasting money every round that you put down range. So I hope that this helped and I hope that you maybe try this out and have some fun with the VSS in Escape from Tarkov. Thank you all so much for taking the time to check out this video. Uh, if you have any questions about the video or if I missed anything, drop a comment down below. Uh, drop a thumbs up if you liked the video. Think about subscribing for more content like this. I'm always trying to create content that helps shorten the learning curve of Escape from Tarkov and get you and your raids having fun as soon as possible. Um, thank you all so much again for taking the time to check this out, and I will see you all on the next one.